I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden everybody's been talking about Tubi. Tubi, Tubi, Tubi. Even Tubi original horror films, what is going on? But I searched through their catalog and yeah, they have got some great films on there. And today I have five underrated horror films for you that are streaming on Tubi right now in the United States for free. Now these are in no particular order except for number one, which is a film I have been wanting to talk about for so long, has been like imprinted on my brain for years, so stay tuned for that one. Kicking off this list at number five is the 2008 film Eden Lake. Now this one stars Michael Fassbender and this is about a couple that go away on this romantic trip by the lake into this little area that Michael Fassbender's character has been wanting to take his lady friend and there is a rowdy group of teenagers causing a ruckus near them and this town, uh, this area that they live in, there's some shady stuff going on that makes some teenagers or allows some teenagers to get away with some things that they normally wouldn't. This is a super, super intense very suspenseful little horror thriller here that has some serious gut punches and doesn't really hold back. It has an ending that will leave you feeling a little bit not so happy, I will say. If you've never seen or heard of Eden Lake, absolutely go check that out. Just be prepared. It's not a real fun movie. All right, number four is the 1997 film Cube. Now, this is a movie that is just so underrated. This is such a rock solid concept for a horror film. Super low budget. You're going to feel its time period. It's a 90s low budget film. So you check it out. You're going to have to ignore some things that have to do with its budget. But man, this is a cool idea. It's going to be very reminiscent of some more modern horror films that you maybe have seen, like Escape Room mixed with Saw and some other films. But this is such a cool concept about a group of people that wake up in this box cube, if you will, and they are trying to figure their way out and they realize that their cube is connected to other cubes. And that's all I'm really going to say about this. All you need to know, this is a isolated horror movie concept where characters need to get out of this thing and they're trying to work together and figure out this mystery and those are sometimes when those are done well those are the best types of horror movies so if you've never checked out cube go check it out and actually it has two sequels maybe three i can't remember i think two honestly the sequel is pretty good too not great don't get me wrong it's not as good as the first one but it's pretty entertaining. I would recommend checking out the sequel if you like the first. Now coming in at number three is a movie called Incident at Ghostland. This is from 2018 or it's called Ghostland depending on where you look. I'm pretty sure on Tubi it's actually under Incident at a Ghostland. Now this is a film that I put on my watch list because I saw the poster and it looked interesting or I think I heard it. I think I saw this maybe on a list of movies to check out and I was like eh. And then it feels like forever, even though it's a 2018 film. It just it just sat there and I stared at it. Finally decided to check this out and I was really impressed by this. This is by no means a perfect film. It has all kinds of issues, but this is about a mother who inherits this house and she drives out to go check out this home. And on the first night, there's these intruders that are like breaking into the home. Now, that's all I'm going to say about this movie. That's all you really need to know, I guess. This is, as I said, not a perfect movie, but this is such a unique film that does a lot of things really, really well. Don't go in expecting a straightforward narrative. It is not. This storytelling is all over the place and it tells a very interesting story in a very unique way. It plays with time. It plays with perspective. It plays with reality and not in like the mind trippy bending dream type world this has some really creepy and unsettling moments some really really cool pieces and when it starts to play with reality a little bit there's a whole lot of what is going on until you get to the end and you figure out what the movie's about and what is actually happening and you know like i said i don't want to give too much away but i highly recommend giving this one a shot like i said be patient with it. You're going to have to ignore some pieces here and there, and you're going to be a little bit confused for a while, but there's just some really cool, creepy moments in here and 
totally worth checking out if this sounds interesting at all to you. Coming in at number two on this list is a film that I just absolutely love and I want to tell more people about. It just flew under the radar. It didn't do well. It was supposed to get a sequel and it just didn't do well at the box office. And unfortunately, my man Anton Yelchin, who stars in this, was taken from us far too young. But the movie I'm talking about is called Odd Thomas. This is such a good movie. This is definitely based on something. I'm not sure what. So tell me what it's based off in the comments if you know. But this is about a, a short order cook who has clairvoyant powers and he senses this dark entity coming into this small town and he's trying to save some people, save his girlfriend and some people in this town who might be affected by these creatures. This has a lot of Frighteners vibes going on. If you are familiar with that, Michael J. Fox, The Frighteners, also a great film to check out. But if you're familiar with that, there's definitely vibes of that going on here. You're gonna have to ignore some shoddy CGI. There is some bad CGI for sure. But man, this is such a good movie. And the performance from Anton Yelchin is just so good. And once you get to the end, ah, you know, there's just this heartbreaking moment, this heartbreaking story. It is just so good. I love this movie. Nobody ever talks about this. And, you know, like I said, it didn't perform well. And of course, we didn't get a sequel for many, many reasons. But please go check out Odd Thomas if that sounds at all intriguing to you and come back and let me know what you thought. All right, coming in at number one on this list, as I mentioned, is a movie I've been wanting to talk about for so long. It's a 2006 film. And this movie is called Severance. Yes, like the show, but not related. This is a movie I saw in 2006 and watched multiple times after. And there are two pieces of this movie that have lodged themselves permanently in my brain forever and I will never forget. One of them is the ending, like the very, very end piece of this film. And another one is a comedic bit because this is a comedy horror film. This is a British comedy horror film. Very unique style of movie. There's some dry humor in here, but there's one bit that works so well in terms of comedy, writing and storytelling and like the buildup and the land of the joke for me that I will just never forget. I always think about it and I tell my friend, this is the type of horror comedy I would like to write. I would like to make this type of movie. But as I mentioned, it's dry, it's a little bit slow, so it may not be for everybody, but man, if this lands for you, this movie is such a good time. This is about a group of like coworkers, office workers who are out doing some team building exercises, some paintball and stuff in this like wilderness. They're staying at this random house and there's some stuff that's out to get them. I'm not gonna really say too much about it. There's very unique things in this movie. It takes some weird turns, but dang, there is just some comedy moments that absolutely hit with me. One of them is the diving board scene and that's all I'm gonna say. If you watch the diving board scene for me, that is right at my funny bone. I love the way that was like the plant and payoff for it. The other thing is the ending where they mention a little piece of what happens if something happens to a person and your brain continues to function. Uh, you know, that's all I'm going to say about that piece. When you watch the movie, that little element at the end just stuck with me for so long. But I really, really enjoyed Severance and this is just such a cool movie. It's on the tip of my tongue for British horror, dark comedies, whenever someone asks me for like a recommendation, this one is one I always throw out there. So if you've never heard of or never seen Severance and you like some slow, dark humor, absolutely go check this one out on Tubi for free. That's my list. Thank you for watching. Let me know down in the comments which ones sound interesting to you and if you've seen them or if you go check one out, Come back here and let me know what you thought of it. I really appreciate you watching and take care. I'm money scared on a big bad wolf. I never see the silver line and only see the gold. I don't speak in caps, dog. Everything bold. And I put that on myself because it's a life that I done chose. I said, come through. You can see me on the west side. Now it's funny how they walking with each other.